hi friends welcome back to ps desire my name is ishwar and in today's video we will be focusing on how to add shades to hair highlights in photoshop we will be working on the photo shown here and if you want to download any of the photos used in this video please check the links in the description the subject of our edit is a beautiful woman with black hair and one of the challenges with black hair is that adding highlights may not look quite right let me demonstrate what i mean first we will add a curves adjustment i will increase the brightness by clicking on the middle and dragging it up this will brighten the entire photo but we only want to add dimensions to the hair so we will need to hide the mask to do this simply select the mask and press ctrl or command plus i to invert it now have a look at it the curves are not visible because the entire mask is black we need to reveal the curves adjustment in a select two areas only now select the white color as a foreground we will use a brush tool and make sure soft brush is selected and tap on areas where we want to add shine to the hair keep doing this in areas where you think there should be more shine or tap on areas where there is already some shine but not enough shine just tap on the areas which you want to add shine and dimensions I believe that's enough. However, the hair may not look perfectly in place. We want to add a color tint or shade to it. Here is what you need to do. You can go to RGB and select any color you want. Let's add a touch of red, increase the red a little bit, decrease the blues to add some yellow and maybe a hint of green as well. This looking good. No adjustment is too intense to my taste. So I want to make some changes to the curves. So I will go ahead and click on the curves icon and the properties for curves will show up. Now let's decrease the brightness and shine to lower the intensity. This looks wonderful. Okay, we are all set. Next, for further enhancement, I'm going to add brightness and contrast adjustments. I will lower the contrast a little bit and increase the brightness a little bit. But we don't want it to affect the entire image. So I'm going to add a clipping moss by clicking on this specific icon. This is looking good and you can see the before and after difference. While making these kind of adjustments sometimes or intentionally or even accidentally certain areas like skin or hair edges may, be, may have been painted. So to erase those areas you can press the backward slash key to clearly or identify which areas has been painted and which areas are not. Then you can use a black soft brush to paint over the areas where you don't want the effect. If there are additional areas where the effect is not needed, you can also paint over them to remove the shine or dimension. Now let's say you only want the shine or dimensions without the color. In that case, you can change the blending mode of the curves adjustment layer to luminosity. This will only affect the brightness and luminosity levels without altering the colors. Similarly, if you only want the color without the shine or dimensions, you can change the blending mode to color. You can experiment with different blend modes to achieve the desired effect. That's it. Here is before and after. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you want to stay updated with more exclusive Photoshop tutorials, be sure to subscribe to our PS Desire YouTube channel. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to receive notifications for our future tips and tricks. Please like, share and comment. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial and I look forward to seeing you again in our next video. Take care.